be making bases. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe as well as like, comment, and all of that good stuff on the video if you like the content. But without further ado, let's jump into today's tutorial. What I'm going to be doing is going over how to make a drill type beat in Logic Pro 10. So if you've been listening to drill music or you want to make something that's kind of along those lines, then this is a tutorial for you okay this is the tutorial for you my bad anyway let's jump in um first things first you want to kind of think about what drill music is like what are the elements of it okay first of all like from what i've listened to and heard the melody is very simple and then you also have a drum beat that's kind of playing off but on at the same time so, so it's kind of playing like on a swing type of beat okay um i noticed that the hi-hats are going like or even the uh, snare drum can be doing that. But um, anyway, we're going to get into how to do this. Let's go ahead and start with the hi-hats. OK, so what I'm going to be doing is I already have some hi-hats set up, like um, some hi-hats that I picked out. What I'm going to do, be doing is using the step sequencer. OK, and I can just draw in or tap in these notes here and there. So I'll turn on the metronome and then we're just going to see what we can come up with remember we're going to we're going for that pattern of tap 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 so let's let's see what we can do we have to sound it out in our head kind of play it and move notes around as we go so it looks like we got a, a pattern where it's skipping two little ticks every two ticks we're put, putting a um, And I think what I'm going to do is right here, I'm going to go tap, 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 tap at the end right here. Make this simpler. I can just uh, zoom in right here to this little, or not zoom in, but um, put a loop right over here at the end. Put that right there. All right, bet. So I don't want to overcomplicate it. You know what I'm saying? It's really just that. Like, that's going to be the hi hat. So instead of just having to redraw that all the way through, we're just going to actually copy and paste this. Okay. And we're going to just do a four bar loop. I'm just going to hold down option and drag this over. So that's going to be our hi hats. All right, so now what we want to do is add like a snare sound um, and we want to keep this snare sound very simple. I'm going to come over here. We're using the step sequencer. And so how you get to that is you just push the scissors and then instead of being on piano roll, you just go over to step sequencer and I'm just going to up this to 64 steps. So the snare is going to be doing something like tap, 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 clap or snare sound. And then it's going to kind of like do an off snare after that. So let's, let's listen. Yeah. And it's just going to repeat. So same difference here. Um, instead of going in here and trying to redraw the note or re um, step the note in, um, basically I'm just going to copy and paste this and I'm going to do it by holding out option is dragging this over like this. Okay. So this is just the basics of this. Um, next we're going to go ahead and go with a kick drum pattern okay and we're just gonna hit one note right here um, and actually I'm gonna go ahead and make sure we step it up some all 
All right, and, and this is just the basics of it. So you want to keep it simple first, and then you can always add more to it. So we got that going. Now let's go ahead and listen to it. Okay, and that's the basics of, of creating like at least a drum pattern. And now for like the actual um, melody, we can use some type of chords here. So I can either sample something, but I, I think it would be better for us to play something. So I'm just going to see if we can find some type of dope like piano sound. Um, so I'm going to type in piano here and see what we can come up with. I actually really like this Arctic Sun. So what I'll do is I'll just get, do, write the, the bass notes in first, and then we can actually create the chord. So, um, so I'm just going to push record, and I'm just going to play using the musical typing, which I push Command K to get up. And you know, you could use your MIDI keyboard and stuff like that, but you know, um, either way. And as you can hear, I was basically playing this, the chord is gonna be playing with the kick drum. So I'm quantize this. And now what I can do here is um, I come in here to the piano row and I'm just gonna highlight these first two notes and then I'm gonna create a chord here by ho holding down option and dragging a note up to create a chord. And what we got here is a minor chord. So I played C, uh, you know, then I played uh, D sharp, and then I played G. So now what we want to do is create a chord out of this one. And this is like a minor chord and major chord put together. You could do it a lot of different other ways, but you, what the main key with this is to keep these things simple. You don't want to overdo it. Uh, so let's go over here and we'll go to this e, this EQ. And I'm actually going to take out a lot of the lows on this. And what we can do is we can come over here to like another instrument and we can do something called layering. Basically, where we'll basically copy and paste the uh, same chords onto a different instrument. So I got a choir sound here. Turn this delay down on this chord some. All right, and now we need some type of a bass um, instrument to really tie this home, you know. Um, so what we'll do is we'll look for a bass instrument in, um, and what I'm using is Alchemy. And if you wanted to create this from scratch, you just push the uh, new track button here, software instrument, and then go over here under instrument to Alchemy. So I already did that here. I just wanted to kind of show you to make sure you know if you're just getting started. So we'll push bass, and from here we can come over here and find all of the um, bass sounds. 
And subs are really good sounds to use. As a matter of fact, let's put a sub in here. It's weird. I wonder why they didn't come up with sub here. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, we'll go bass right here. Let me see if I can. There we go. All right, cool. So this sounding out some things here. I'm going to use this sound. We can always change it later. Just wanted to kind of sound out the notes first. And basically what I'm going to be doing is on the actual kick drum, I'm just going to follow some of that pattern. And at the very end of the measure, I'm going to add a little variation like... And then see what you could do now is just add little other variations. You know. All right, and what you could do as well is you could take these instruments and I can take them and I can actually um, like resample them into Logic. So like for instance, I could take this, uh, this Arctic Sun piano, drag it over here to this gray section. And this is only gonna be for you users that have Logic 10.5 or above. And I could throw it into the quick sampler Mute it out, and then I can play it at different keys to say if I want to, you know, get a different vibe with it. So we can come over here, turn these on, these options right here, and then I can come over here and
I can come over here and do the same with this sub sound. So I can come over here and drag this over to this gray area, quick sample or original. Turn that on. And now we got this. Actually, I need to turn that back on. Make sure it's uh, make sure this little hourglass is selected. Make sure follow tempo selected. Make sure it's in classic mode. We'll turn this uh, 808 up or this sub sound up just a little bit. So now we're going to have to push play or record it. You can play this at different octaves too, so like I can come over here and add this extra little part. pretty dope here man i mean that's just the basics of it man like i will continue to make this or build this beat um and we might do in another video like the arrangement and everything like that but yo that's pretty much in a nutshell um how you can get started with making your own drill beats you know what i mean so thank you so much for watching make sure again if you're brand new to the channel to subscribe and if you are really feeling the content give me a thumbs up and a comment all right so yeah we're out into the next one peace